hello there welcome to my youtube channel in this video i am going to be cloning youtube as you can see on your screen right now i'm also going to proceed to cloning um websites like facebook and instagram and um, i'm going to show you how it is done now this is not a tutorial on how to hack or anything like that um this is just a tutorial to show you how easy it is for anybody sitting in their house with your android phone to you know trick you into clicking links or visiting website that you know appears to be real but are actually malicious or fake websites so i'm going to be showing you how this is done and at the end of this video i'm going to show you a way to know if the website you're visiting is actually real or fake all right so um without wasting much of your time let us get to the video So the application we're going to be using is Tamox. I know most of you are already used to Tamox. You know what Tamox is. So um, we're going to update your Tamox packages. To do that, you're going to be using the command pkg update, okay? And um, you're going to let that complete, okay? Now after updating your Tamox packages, we're going to be installing two packages. One of the packages is call and the other package is PHP. Um, now call, which means client URL, is a PHP library and command line tool that allows you to send and receive files over http and ftp all right so we're going to be using a call which is client url to download the website's code to tamox okay so you're going to install both packages with the command pkg install call php all right so you're going to relax and wait a little bit for these packages to complete installing and um, once they are installed um we're going to proceed to the next aspect all right which is um, the downloading aspect, the part where you know we download the website to Tamox. Now to do that, you're going to enter the command call, and then you're going to paste you know the way, the name of the website you want to clone. So I'm going to be using my website, you know my blog website, as an example at first. So you're going to type the command call, and you're going to paste that website, and you're going to name the website index.html on Tamox. Okay. So what this command basically means is call. We want to call to you know um download this page betintech.blogspot.com and we want it to name it as index.html you know on my local system okay so you're going to click enter and that is going to basically take seconds so if i type ls again which is the list command you're going to see that i have a file on my you know system called index.html okay good so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to host this um website that we just cloned into tamox on a local port now this is where php comes in now to host it on a local port you're going to use the command php s and then we want to host this on the, um, the port 8080 on my phone okay so you're just going to type the command 127.0.0.1 then followed by the port name okay and as you can see it has already started on port 8080 so if i visit um the port 8080 on my android phone now you're going to see that um it is going to display exactly my website you know on that phone if you do not look at the the web address you're not going to notice that it is not the website as you can see it looks exactly just like the home page of my website and the tricky part is if you actually click on any of those images it is going to direct you to my website you know you wouldn't even notice it if you do not look at the web address that you clicked on okay so it is always important that while clicking on a link you look at the web address and you're very very sure that you know that web address leads to that website before entering any of the information on it because you don't know it might actually you know be um, a malicious site that has been created with an intent to steal your you know your details your personal information okay so um to you know basically clone youtube facebook instagram or whatever you just repeat the same procedures the same procedures i showed you you're going to repeat it by using you know the website address and as you can see right here I have YouTube cloned in my local host. I also tried, you know, Facebook, Instagram, and so on and so forth. So, um, now remember that this website that I just, you know, cloned is hosted on my local host, okay? This website is actually not, you know, available to be, to be viewed online. So, I made a video that shows you how to access websites like this. Let me say you're working on a project, okay? And you built a website or anything and you want to you know show it to your family or friends online okay 
um a video is going to be displaying on your screen right now watch that video to see how to you know post projects like this online so that your family and friends can actually view them i'll see you there